Hey Virgo, welcome to your monthly tarot read for May 2021. This will be for those of you who are wanting to get insights with regards to your love connections. To all my subscribers, thank you for your continued support. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. All right, Virgo, let's get on with your monthly reading. This will be for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. In love. Overall energy, Virgo, Two of Pentacles. Are you thinking twice about something? Let's just put it there. At the bottom of the deck, we have um, Prince of Pentacles. Okay. Hmm. Surprisingly, a lot of messages coming through for Virgo today. Um, primarily, you are more about, I feel that the center of your a month would be more about grounding, more about um, getting things in line, uh, putting things into perspective, and yeah, basically it's grounding leading to stability. Leading to stability. And I feel that you probably are being faced with several um, situations in your life right now that is leading you to some sort of make a decision yeah for most of you there could be that element of work you know relating to stability that is um, taking a lot of your time or you're just busy responding to a lot of responsibilities in life yeah as well as gearing yourself up into that level of um, self-sufficiency um, I feel that you're working towards your own um, your own stability yeah this could be you um raising for promotion or if you are having a business this is you trying to um, get to a cert certain level where you have that um proper cash flow yeah so that you don't really have to put a lot of effort in every time and your money works for you and i feel that this is at least on that stability side money because there's a lot of pentacles coming out here it's more about that grounding, um, getting things stabilized, and um, reaching a certain level of comfort. Mm -hmm. Now, in terms of love, I do feel um, for you, there is the situation that um, you may have tried to work out with a certain someone, so a certain individual, um, but somehow you may even have put in a lot of effort in there in that uh, situation because you really wanted it you really want to to um be with this person wanting to achieve some form of fulfillment to them but uh coming into this reading i am getting that based on you know if you are to measure your level of satisfaction it's not there yeah you may even have walked away because you feel like there's nothing else you can do about it you've tried whatever you can and um, I feel that for most of you you may even be um, standing your ground yeah just um, trusting that even in your own you'll be okay even in your own you'll be okay you've tried everything here you've tried um, to fight for this connection 
you may even have communicated tried to have a um, discussion with this person over and over again and yet it seems like it's not getting anywhere your words your thoughts are not getting into your person's mind they are not being receptive to whatever you're trying to say even though you've laid it out in details yeah laid it out in details and i feel that with that there's that level of um disappointment perhaps or just the fact that if you can get through a wall if you can get through this hump yeah in this situation with this person i feel that for most of you you would be walking away at least stepping back for now because for a virgo there is always a solution yeah if you can talk things out lay out a plan there is always that solution but in this case no matter how solutioning quote unquote i don't think there's such a word for that but no matter what type of solutioning you're trying to do here um it just doesn't work it doesn't get through the other party whatever the situation is and that led you to like kind of think about you know this opportunity you had together you know that there was a possibility for it to grow the distance but at some point somehow you just have to throw it up to the air all right and see where that goes because there's no more there's nothing more you can do on your side at least that's how you feel and that's how i feel for you right now you may be walking away you may be walking away now with regards to the person that you are dealing with the reason why you were not really able to get through this person is primarily because this person could be in in different ways you know in different um, scenarios one i see is that this person could be in a very dark place in their life personally some of them i do see some level of deep depression and satisfaction or dissatisfaction of um, their own life what they have achieved so far in their life so they are not satisfied with it and therefore they're empty they're drained they can't give anything more to to another party yeah This could also be a person who is trying to get over a, a a hurtful or painful past. And for some of you, this is someone who is in a third party connection or you are both in this third party situation. Yeah. There is some there is an extra energy here. And that's probably why you're not able to really achieve that level of fulfillment because there is an external factor. External factor that may or may not be within your control. You can control whatever planning you want to be with this person, but this party right here, the external factor is, is causing some problems yeah that's hindering you from getting what you want in this situation yeah so i feel yeah i feel that you will be walking your own path right now maybe you don't really love doing so but you feel like you have to and i feel that you're kind of walking away here you're walking away from this situation yeah you're walking away from this situation and i do feel that you would continue to um at least perhaps even communicate you know at least give attention to this person whenever possible that, that's what i see you're walking away but at the same time um not really closing the door fully i don't know why you're doing that you tell me <laughs> but you're walking away here mm -hmm. at least for now yeah at least for this month and i do see that um you might focus your energy to things that are um working well in your life other aspects it could be your job it could be spending a lot of time with friends yeah and i do see a new opportunity in your life virgo especially in may it's the center of your reading and it is something related to um 
it's like a drop gift from the universe for you and if you take on this opportunity there is the possibility for you to you know to be more abundant um, get richer uh, more successful you know there is that potential so whatever this is it could be money drop <laughs> universe dropping money <laughs> In your life or yeah it's it's a very good opportunity it looks shiny to me shiny it's a good one it's a good one for some of you this could literally be you know the moment you walk away from this third party or a busy situation heading on to you know spending a lot of time with other people opening up I do see that this could be a new opportunity that you can meet someone someone that could likely match what you are looking for in a relationship in a commitment mm -hmm. and it's a good one there is that big potential potential there so likely so the next person that you will be meeting after you walk away from this is someone that could match your energies a good match mm -hmm. a good match um, this person that you are dealing with, uh, I feel that, you know, this is someone who is, who knows that they have this connection with you, but at some point, at least for the month of May, I am getting that they need some time to heal up, to get into a point of, um, how do you feel? How do you say this? It's more about getting into a point of healing getting into a point of acceptance yeah for whatever this is if you walk away it doesn't mean that this person is not sad about it yeah to the extent i feel that they would be undergoing this grief cycle you know um processing the grief that they would have and i feel that they would need to get into some form of healing in order for them to bring to be able to bring back the love that they can provide, to, I mean, that they can share with other people. Because for now, this is someone who is pretty empty. Yeah? Pretty empty. Drained. So, this person has nothing to give. Especially if you are looking for emotional support, emotional openness. I feel that this person needs to replenish the emotional part of it in their, in their own life. Yeah? You can definitely give what you don't have. All right. So it's looking great for you if you are willing to open up to new opportunities. Especially if you have been with um, this other energy for quite a while. The ending at least the end you have death here so the ending of this situation at least for now could actually bring you more passion yeah could bring back that spark within you to strive for what you want so the moment you let go you see that um you are more um driven yeah to strive for what you want you may have settled for this connection for quite a while you may have been going with the flow trying to appease with the situation, trying to fit in, yeah, in a situation that does just seem to be very crowded, at least for now. But I do see a lot of good opportunities, a lot of good things coming towards you. Something that could reignite the passion within you and could actually lead you to that path of you know that um, you see other people like trying to win in their endeavors left and right it's because they have the passion within them authentically yeah and i feel that that door is opening up for you the moment you stand your ground and willingly end the things that um, allow things to end especially those things um that are not within your control yeah allowing it to end and opening up yourself to new passions to new things could actually bring back that spark yeah i 
I'm gonna leave it at that. It's, it's pretty beautiful for you. But you're still the driver here. You're the driver for this success. Yeah. Overall energy is, it's a choice that you have to make. Okay, I'm gonna leave it at that and let me know if this resonates in the comment section below and um, don't forget to hit like and subscribe.